All right, hello on 22nd of March. Let's take a look at gold, euro, dollar, Dow, Jones, and Bitcoin. Now with gold um, yesterday, right? We're in between zones, as you can see. Uh, so playing off the zones is important. Now yesterday at the white line, we had 357. So that's the three o'clock bar. Market came back to retest the Asia session and went up. If you went long on the white line here, you should have kept your stop loss just under there. That still should have given you one to two, one to three until you got up to the weekly and there as well. So that would have been a nice kind of trip upwards. Um, and this was the astrological hours for the what, five, six, seven o'clock. There we had 7.30 and at 7.30 fell back a little bit, but that's about it. And then went up to this zone. Now with gold, um, I'm still um, possibly you know weighing the option that the market could come down. The reason for that is We've got support levels here now this week is today's tuesday so monday opened up nicely uh, in order to go up however on the weekly we had a big fall last week so a pullback in order to sell it down is also on the cards all right because it's a stiff fall as you can see so pull up in order to push down a little bit more down to this level is still on the card so i already put those levels down here as you can see so if the market comes down at our astrological hours into this zone, we're going to look to go in long. Um, if you're going to go short, like I said, you need to do it with a smaller lot size, in my opinion, uh, simply because the main trend is up and this is just a retracement that we're playing in right now. So this dodgy area right, is tight, as you can see because we had the big major push down already. So this is pretty tight, as you can see. So if the market does pull down a little bit more, you know, back into this zone, this is definitely gonna be a buy zone for us. And if it does pull back even further down to these levels, we're still gonna go long at these levels as well. Where am I getting those levels from? Obviously from these levels here, we've got 40 and 38, 1894, 1879, that's your 1894. 79 down here let me just make this 94 as you can see there right okay so this is pretty much in there it could go lower you know there's no um, jerking matter and once the market does come down yeah. when the once the market can, comes down we can go back up again okay so that's gold so we've got room to come down in order to be bought obviously we want to follow this trend up and I think we'll be going up um, you know pretty much into summer as well so on pullbacks I think it's, there's an opportunity to go long as well but with our astrological timing as well you can also go short if the you know if the price is right definitely you can play both sides of the market okay so that's that all right so any pull up let's see today um yeah any pull up into this zones again into this pinky zone uh, will also you know lead to a nice push down as well um that's that let's take a look at the euro dollar now with the euro dollar yesterday i said shorting is a better option because we had the psd broken down and i did say we've got a um goodbye kiss zone up here just came shy off that actually a bit disappointing um, and that was not really an astrological hour for us all right 12 11 10 9 so nine o'clock as you know 9 to 11 was expecting a u-turn up so from these levels of the weekly it went up to, you know about 30 pips up 37 or whatever um, but it didn't quite make this zone here just shy off and because this was not an astrological you know time um, you know we just let it go however though however once the market fell down here this was again a buy opportunity as you can see that's three o'clock there and that's four o'clock there so it was a bit of a buy opportunity down here around the 2 p.m. zone there in order to go back up but you should have been um, awakened here because that's seven o'clock and i did say we've got reason to push down because pst was already broken down so this impulse wave did its a b c and now going down all right so we've got room to come down and that 33 level 24 level is on the cards and that 33 level is 1.0804 so it's pretty 
pretty down, you know, back pretty much down to where it came from. Then this could turn into a double bottom and then we'll see how that goes. All right, but at the end of the day, um, we've got room to come down, which is why I was like, you know, keen on selling yesterday as well. I mean, you could have also done this. As you can see, the market came to that target level, moved up to the weekly, you could have also sold there. Now let's get rid of this pinky zone here. All right, let's get rid of this pretty much um, and then see what we can do. If you want to sell again, oh, what do you want to do is this, okay. Uh, you want to keep the weekly and the daily in mind. All right, I would not be trading without keeping them in mind. So if the market pulls up to the white line, this white line is also good to sell, by the way. Uh, or if it goes up to the weekly, daily, at, a, at our astrological hours, I think it's doable. Um, I'll still leave these levels up here um, because the reason is if we come down, then we're going to go back up. But you know what? Let's let's just get rid of them. Right, let's just get rid of these for the moment um, because we are following it down. The only thing we might want to put up here is a 5483, which is 1128. So that I will want to keep on the right 1128 because on the daily, that's pretty much a level there. Okay. So why? Because it might head up there for a target. And as you can see here as well, right, the market's selling off at 3916 zone, which is 1078. And 1078 was, let's see just shy of that, well 1078 was what I put on there yesterday, so you can see we're just shy off that pink level I said yesterday, never mind, alright, you can't catch them all, but that's how it is, so we still got a bit of room to come down, if we go up there I think it's sellable, obviously don't sell it here when the PST level is so low, however though just note that there are levels to come down that the market can you know, fill in there, alright, and let me just delete that, and those are our targets there. So you can just note those targets and see how you go. On any pullback, you can push down that way. Let's take a look at US 30. Now, here we go with the US 30. I said a bit of a pullback would be nice, and that would be that 43.16. On the daily, we are pushing down, as you can see, so it's nice and easy. Yesterday, those were our levels. Beautiful push down. Let's see, was that the... Uh, that was four o'clock. I didn't. Th I don't think I had anything at four o'clock. I had three fifty-seven. So well, that's pretty much four o'clock bar. But that is, I think, four thirty or something like that. All right. So that was it. The market coming down, pushing up, and then coming down. So I still suspect this is going to come down a little bit. Uh, but this bursting upwards is a good impulse wave. So this is why I put the Fibonacci up yesterday. Although this is a Fibonacci on the platform, I've got GAN levels as you can see because I'm using astrology. So those GAN levels are more relevant for me. Um, so the market coming down a bit is good so that we can get back in the game. And this zone is going to be, like I said, the 33.662 on the Dow. 33.662 on the Dow is going to be an important level for us this week. So we're only on Tuesday. Uh, we could see this happening today. And today's the 22nd. Uh, if the market does push up, um, you can sell down as well. Um, today, 22nd. And tomorrow is 23rd. It might be, yeah, I'll have to see. Okay, just check your um, swing days as well for this. And you know you can do your setup accordingly. All right, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Now with Bitcoin, as you can see, we're in the sideways motion. No drums, just a nice little breakout. Yesterday I did say in the um, Astro Hours that we might have a follow-up in Asia. As you can see, the market's heading up there, and that 49.80 was a target, as you will recall, at 43.87, 43.742 right there so the market you know dashing up there is pretty much you know um <laughs> logical uh, and it's nice to see it uh doing it at 
astrological hours and this is that three o'clock bar that I did mention in the club members area all right um, you know uh, these were also astrological hours were for Bitcoin what to do well with Bitcoin you know like I always say you got to trade off the line so this is going to be a resistance line we've got a nice movement up as you can see now despite the fact that the um, highs here are lower um, the strength behind it, you see the PSD is going higher, right? So this has got potential to, you know, go up and even break up. And this could be, you know, that level, like I said. Um, I said you need to buy here. I said you need to buy here. And it may not come back a third time. And if it starts breaking up, you know, we're going up. You know, that's just how it is. Okay. Uh, with Bitcoin. So on the daily, you know, if it does pull back, go long pretty much and that's it basically all right on pullbacks go long um, phew. Um, would it fall back all the way down it certainly can it's done it before big spike up big spike down as you can see it can do this in a matter of a few hours as you can see big move up big move down so don't get all like, excited when you see a big up move. Definitely match your trading to your astrological hours, right? Otherwise, you're just going to be, you know, sucked into all this volatility without really realizing what's going on. So the market can pop its head back down. If you're going to buy, buy it on a retracement. Let it come back down. Just keep in mind that we still got this. 35 on the cards, 35,000, 36,000, both on the monthly, okay, and on the weekly, all right. Uh, and on the daily, if it pulls back into like, I don't know, 46, 50, 49, those levels there, it's 39,000, 40,000 zone. Those zones are support levels and they've been supported really well, as you can see around here. So that 39, 40,000 is what they're you know really trying to maintain so if it does pull back into these PST levels down here I think it's also an opportunity to go long what you can also do is this if you're using your ATAM strategy just do this draw bottom to bottom if it comes down just go long on these it's nice to see them matching the blue lines as well so anywhere on the white line and the blue line matching you can just do it Okay.